How's it going everyone and welcome back to another video and in today's video we're looking at a video that we did a while ago headed out in the big boat but where the plan was we were going to head to the West Islands but instead we didn't quite make it as far we ended up staying at the Brumbies for a few days due to some boat problems anyway we decided to make the most of it headed around the Bromby Islands there did a bit of spearing found some really nice fish you'll see at the start of the video here we decided to try and find a few fish maybe a couple of crays to do a cook up on the boat with we found some really nice fish and ended up doing a cook up with a cray and made a crayfish sandwich so stick around and then later on in the video we do a bit of explaining on how we found or how we generally find our red emperor and a bit of the sort of area and sounding and everything about how we do it so if you want to see that stick around to the end and if you enjoy hit that subscribe button it really helps us out smash the like button and yeah cheers let's get into it So we've just come into the shallows here, up into an area where we know there's a lot of craze usually. We've gotten a lot of craze before. So the plan is we're going to jump in, have a bit of swim around on these bombies here. The other three are already in there on the bombies already, chasing craze. So we're going to jump in. I'm going to get my mask on and everything and then I'm going to jump in and see if we can get a couple of craze to cook up tonight. Got a couple of crays for dinner. There it is. Chucked it up behind me. Got two there. Yeah, yeah. All right, so just out here now on this bit of a few bombies around here. And the plan is we're going to try and find maybe a trout or two, maybe a cray, black spot tusk fish. We're just going to see what we can find. We're going to see if we can get something. We might do a bit of a cook up later on the beach or. Yeah, we'll do some sort of cook up anyway, so I'm gonna jump in, see if we can find fish of some description. We'll see what happens. The boat's just uh, probably a couple hundred meters back that way, anchored it up. We're in the 5 3 now. Dad's driving, we scooted down here. Mum and Lara up the front there. And we just come down. We just found a little bomby they're gonna jump in on just over there.
All right, everyone, so we're back out of the boat here, and plan is I'm gonna do a bit of a cook up. Got a crate out of the esky there, and I'm gonna get some spices and that from over here. Got a bit of garlic and that sort of stuff. And plan is I'm gonna chop him up. I might just half him, I think, and then got the Weber out there. I might heat him up now, chuck him on there, and then I'm gonna make up a lovely crayfish wrap for dinner. So I'll get him in half, clean him up, and I'll get back to you. All right, well, I've got this crayfish here. I'm gonna take the tail out of him. I know sometimes people will cut him and take the whole cray and use the whole thing, the whole crayfish. But I think I'm just gonna do the tail. I'll get enough meat out of that for me wrap. You don't get too much meat out of the head anyway. Most of it's just guts. So you still just cut around the side just to cut all that flesh off of the shell. And you can just peel it off. I'm gonna sit this GoPro here. And you can just turn it, twist it, pull that tail out of the shell. That's what I want right there, the tail. This head, I think, we're just gonna throw straight overboard. We don't really want it. Okay, he's down the back here looking for queenies or something. Don't want that. Straight back in the ocean. All right, let's get back into this tail. All right, so I might set these up just here. I'm gonna get this tail. I'm going to split it down here, which can be quite hard. Go. We just opened that crayfish up nice and so we can put him on the barbie like that. Now we're going to get some, what have we got over here? Lemon pepper. What's this? Garlic and herb. Yep, sounds good to me. Um, might go garlic and herb, that'll do. Don't need that one. Right, so I'm gonna get the butter out of the freezer and then we are going to season this dog up and then get him on the barbie. All right, so we got this crayfish here already halved. I wanna get a bit of garlic and herbs. And we're gonna sprinkle a bit on him. Give him a bit of flavor. Right, there we go, that. Nice to show for you. Yeah, I know what I'm doing, what can I say? <laughs> what? Alright, so we'll get him on the barbie and then we'll get some um, butter on him. We'll go that way to start with. Alright, now let's get some butter. I will leave him for a bit, um, probably give him five minutes or so, and then we'll come back and check. We might flip him over and see how he's going anyway. See you then. Well, our crayfish is cooking very good. It's looking very delicious. Might just flip him over. Get him a bit cooking on the other side there. Yep, that looks very good. Starting to cook pretty well, you can see there. But we're gonna leave him in there for a bit. Oh, I just touched the barbecue, that was very hot. We're gonna leave him in there for a bit longer give him another probably you know, two or three minutes and we might pull him out and see if he's cooked properly and if so might be chucking him on a sandwich I was going for gonna do wraps but unfortunately I think the wraps are in there with mum and dad so I think I might be having a crayfish sandwich anyway still should be very delicious all right I reckon our crayfish should be pretty well cooked looks pretty cooked to me well, we're going to take it into the sink and we'll open it up and chop it up and see whether it's cooked or not. Oh. I'll grab a plate. We'll grab a knife. I'll sit these down just here. Alright. 
just gonna throw this bit of scraps over the back, just the shell, and I'm going to make myself a bloody delicious crayfish sandwich. Have a look at that. Oh, that is just bloody amazing, that is. God. I didn't realize it was gonna come out so well, and it actually tastes amazing. You can taste that garlic and butter through it. Absolutely delicious. So, I've got me Turkish bread, and I'm gonna get a piece of that out, get some crayfish on it. Got a bit of cheese somewhere in here. I'm gonna put that together and see how it comes out. I'll see yous. I'll make this sandwich up and I'll talk to you in a minute. Well, I've just made up me crayfish wrap, me crayfish sandwich, sorry. Top goes on. Got some. Got a bit of crayfish, a bit of cheese, a bit of tomato sauce, and a little bit of salted pepper. And I'm gonna absolutely smash into this sandwich and I'll tell you how it is. Alright, sorry it's a bit, the videoing's a bit scuffed, I might come down the back there, the lighting's a bit better. Well, there is my successfully made crayfish sandwich. Um, let's, I'm going to smash straight into it and tell you how it tastes. Looks bloody delicious, it's got, look at that, crayfish, cheese, tomato sauce. Mmm. Oh, it's absolutely delicious. Love a good crayfish sandwich. Look at that. Fresh crayfish. That crayfish was probably only caught three hours ago. Bought him in, he's been on ice since. Straight on the barbecue. Bit of garlic on that. Bit of butter. Straight onto the Sanger and oh God. That is absolutely delicious. Oh, big squid. Shit. Maybe having some calamari. Look at that. Huge big donkey calamari squid out there. Where's that light? Shit. Well, I didn't expect that when I went down the back. Got a brand new fishing squid jig. I'm trying to do this with camera in one hand. Oh. Oh, he's on it. Yes, squid on, squid on. We're on, boys. Squid on. Calamari for us. Calamari for us. Look at that. That's what we love to see. Um, I might have to sit you down. I'll go grab him and I'll hold him up for you. Well guys, that right there is our squid, looking very scrumptious, look at that, perfect, what a start to the trip. Alright, so, got our nice squid, I'm going to knife this dude and I'll get him in the esky and probably end up eating him over the next few days. How good's that? Too cool. Well, you wouldn't believe it, when I was sitting out the back here, I just I was sitting in there, laying on the beanbag, and I come back out the back here, and I saw, out of the corner of my eye, there's another squid sitting out on the edge of the light. So, I'm going to... What am I going to do? Um, I'll sit you down over here again. And I, I'm going to try and catch this squid. We're on! We're on! Squid number two! Yes! We're on! Let's go! Got him! Well, that's squid number two for the night. Only been, oh, 
I don't know what time it is now, it's not too late. And squid number two is in the boat. How good is that? We've got this big light up the back here. This one just runs on the jenny. Dad put it out here for, you know, squid. All sorts of fish come up and did the trick on a nice size squid, number two for the night. So yeah, I'm gonna get this fella in the SQ2 and it might be good night or I might talk to you soon. Either way, I'll be back to you soon. So I'm just cruising around on the electric and as I see a bomby, I just mark it like that. I've already got that one marked, but mark it like that and then um, save it and then go back to it and then drop the boys on it. And some of them have got reds on them. I'll clear that one because I've already, we've already dived that one, but just while I'm cruising around, I just keep looking while they're diving when I look for the next one. A little bit of a bump there, we just went over, but I don't think it's worth the effort. Here we go, what's that? See that, like that little bump there, could old fish, so I'll just go mark, and I'll go mark. That's 87, then I'll go back to 87, then look at it on the down scan. Clear cursor. Where was it? 87. It's 86. I'll go back. No, 87. 85. 87. Right, we're heading straight at it. Exciting. Just a few bait fish or something, I reckon. So yeah, that's what I do in the boat, just find little mommies from them and take them to them. That's where they get the reds. They're not big bombies, but that's all you need. Cody's going to land a Mackie in a sec.
right, so we just jumped out. We're in a little spot there. A couple of bombies just out on the sand where we have shot reds before, and that's what we're going for. And I'm doing really well. This fella was as I was jumping out, I just saw him swim over. I loaded my gun back up and swam down and got a nice stone shot. And then once Josh shot his red, this Mackie just come cruising over. This must have been the commotion. And Josh got his, just come cruising over, dove down, just sort of took a bit of a long shot. The spear didn't really go in, but Josh got the second gun and we put a second shot in and landed this awesome Mackie. Too cool. Yeah. Not bad. Off one bomby. Yeah, lovely. Fish off one bomby. It's worth doing the spending the time to find them bombies on side scanning that isn't it? Yeah. Alright guys, so that brings us to the end of this one. Really hope you enjoyed this episode. It was great fun out there on the boat. Coming up soon, we have a bit of info and about everything about how the boat broke and how we fixed it and a bit of stuff, other stuff from this mission. So stay tuned for that. It'll be coming out soon. And yeah, if you did enjoy this episode, like I said at the start, make sure you smash that like button. Hit that subscribe. We're getting a lot of subscribers now lately, so thanks to everyone who's been subscribing. And um, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Cheers, and we'll see you next time.